We're using this video to demonstrate the technique for adipose derived stem cell therapy in the horse. Uh, we found it to be very useful in osteoarthritis, uh, developmental bone disease, uh, ligament and tendon injuries in the horse. Here we see a, uh, this is a six year old hunter jumper thoroughbred I believe that had to sustain a very severe injury to the lateral patellar ligament. This would be the second treatment for this horse. As you can see in the video, uh, slightly lame, but it's actually doing considerably better than it was originally. Right here we're palpating to see where the fat pad is or uh, ex where excess fat is that we can collect. We do an aseptic technique, a lipo aspiration or liposuction. We scrub, we block the area, the horse is under sedation. We scrub the area very rigorously since we want a very aseptic technique since these cells will be injected into a joint or a ligament or a tendon. We infuse the area subcutaneously with a cannula. This uh, serves to help break down the fat tissue so that we can aspirate it more easily. We massage the fat for about 15 or 20 minutes which helps to break down the fat. Then we insert a special, what they call a cell-friendly uh, cannula under low pressure to aspirate the fat. So we use li lipoaspiration in stage one to collect the cells for processing. The second stage of the three-stage process is the actual processing of the cells. All right, the third step, which is equally as important as the other two steps, is the actual delivery of the cells. When we inject these cells, we want to inject them directly into the lesion. In this case, we're injecting into the lateral patellar ligament so the horse doesn't require general anesthesia since we can visualize that with the ultrasound machine. 